We are starting series two of the IT crowd today. This episode is, I think it's called the work outing. So, uh, yeah. oh, yes. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm back. Where we left off, everyone had slept with everyone else's randomness. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's part two. To be continued. Ooh. All right. Let's oh. see. Let's see. Okay. okay. Three, Hell two, yeah. one. I just won 450 quid playing poker. Well done. So that one coming, Mikey73. That's my rent sorted this month. Oh, and I can buy that new... Oh, no, I've lost it all again. <laughs> Jen. Oh, Philip, hello. Hi. This is Philip from Six. This is Moss. This is Roy. Hi. Hi. Hi, uh... So, what brings you to my lair? Not that I'm some sort of animal. <laughs> or, or maybe I am. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> oh, um, I was just uh, wondering if uh, you um, had the latest heat. Uh, yes, yes, there it is. Thanks. And <clears throat> sorry about this. I don't suppose maybe you'd like to come to theatre tomorrow night, maybe? Or... I'd be delighted. <laughs> He means me, Moss. He was looking at me. <laughs> no, he wasn't. I think he was. Well, you're not even in his eye line. Philip, who are you talking to, me or Jen? Do you like the theatre? Never been. But uh, uh, I've always liked the idea of the theatre. The smell of the grease, the roar of the paint. <laughs> I've often thought if I hadn't ended up in computers, I would have gone into the theatre. But you've never been to see a play? No. Why not? Never had the interest. Are there any famous people in it? No. It's a pass from me, then, thank you. You haven't been invited anywhere. Oh, wait, uh, Laura Knightley's in it. Laura Knightley from the bill? She's gorgeous. You know what? I will come, Philip, thank you. There's no invitation. Show me the invitation. Well, uh, I guess, you know, you guys could come too if you wanted. Oh. I know people in the show, so tickets aren't a problem. Great, that's settled then. Right, uh, well, I'll give you a call later then, give you the details. Um, how's that? That is perfection itself, Philip. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming down, man. Catch you later. That. I what just that. happened? I love it. What? Oh. So, the, the, the problem was this guy that came down wasn't being straight up and just kind of being, you know, you know, you know like yeah. that. And wasn't being direct with any of them. Like, uh, come on, you gotta be direct. I love that though. You know, you tell me, you tell me a, a work environment that more resembles a family, family, like, let me know. Cause that's exactly what a family would do is that kind of shit. Like, yeah, clearly everyone knows what he's trying to do, but mm -hmm. they're just assholes, mm -hmm. but they're her assholes. And yeah. I love that. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Absolutely love that dude. Oh man. <laughs> Could have been a date there. Now it's a work outing. <laughs> Sorry, I nearly forgot the heat. Oh yes. It's uh it's... <sighs> huh. What? He actually did want to borrow the copy of Heat. <laughs> so? Well, it's just, you know. <laughs> no, I don't. What? I'm just surprised. Why? It's just I don't know many heterosexual men who read Heat. <laughs> oh, what? He's gay. Just because he reads Heat magazine. Um, well, he's either gay or a woman in her early 20s. <laughs> no, 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 no. Why else? Would he ask me out on a date? Uh, are you sure he meant it as a date date? Are you sure you're not going along as his gal pal? <laughs> if you're talking about who I think you're talking about, then the answer is yes, he is gay. <laughs> How did you know? Oh, everyone knows. And what's more, he's been gay since Wham. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about Philip. 
He borrowed heat. He borrowed heat? Ooh la la. <laughs> and he knows people in the theatre. That's not a euphemism. He actually does know people in the theatre. Anyway, it's a date, I'm sure it is. Why else would he ask me out? Well, don't take this the wrong way, but could he have thought you were a man? <laughs> All right, let's get a taxi. It's a ten-minute walk. Oh, yeah, I, I hate to say it, but the stereotype is pretty accurate right there. I mean, I, having done theater two years, I keep railing on it, but and it's been so long. But, yeah, like, most of the time, it ain't heterosexual dudes that are... Uh, into that thing it's which is which is interesting because it, it's just I, I think it's a very interesting insight because it is how do i say this i mean fucking hugh jackman got his start in theater yeah. you know what i mean yeah yeah I, I i don't know what that has to do with anything what i'm but, trying i i'm try, i guess i'm trying to tiptoe too much around a certain topic but but it, it's 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 like I'm not saying to we. I know we have some LGBTQ plus uh, folks in here, and we're not saying that it's just gay men that are in no. theater or go to theater. I mean, like, no, I, I, I enjoyed seeing Wicked. I enjoyed seeing um, Amer Green Day's American Idiot on Broadway. Um, they just everybody has different tastes, and yeah, it's just the people have stereotypes of this type of thing for a reason. Yeah, there you go. That's the best way to put it. Yeah. I and... would I couldn't have said it better and I'm not going to try to say it better. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. You I have more experience with this than you do. So you let yeah. me do the talking on that one. Yeah, no, I got you. All right, man. Thank you for yeah. taking that. Cuz I was like, I want to I'm like I'm getting my shovel out. I'm like, how deep do I want to dig this hole? Like yeah, I'm like, that, all right. Yeah. That's why I don't talk about US military stuff. <laughs> Because I, I don't you. have experience with it. <laughs> no, I got you, man. So, yeah, thank you for that. And yes, yes, everyone. Spencer nailed it on the head for me. So. <laughs> well, let's see how it plays out for these uh, three lovely, uh, seemingly heterosexual uh, folks. Co-workers. Co-workers. <laughs> but by the end of this, that may not be the case uh, in, in terms of our knowledge. Maybe not. Oh. Oh, oh, no. I don't like walking. Why don't you just not come? Then you won't have to walk anywhere. It's okay. I'm not going to spoil your romantic evening with the gay man. He's not a gay man. He reads heat. <laughs> hey, where are you lot off to? Oh, look. Richmond's still alive. <laughs> We're going to the theatre. Hey, do you want to come? Oh, no. No, thank you. And you shouldn't go either. Why not? An ill wind is blowing. <laughs> Last night, I was stirred from my slumber by a crow calling three times. Caw. Caw. Well, you know what a crow sounds like. Passing to my window, I trod on a piece of Lego. Oh, it went right in the heel. Turning on my television set, I noticed the reception wasn't great. Not terrible, just not great. Hear me well. No good can come of your trip to the theatre tonight. No good at all. And if you ask me... <laughs> that's just bloody rude. <laughs> Where's my heat? Oh! Oh, okay. This was bad pausing on my part. <laughs> but... <laughs> Maybe it's Richmond that's going to be outed by the time this is over. Maybe. Maybe. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, I need to go and do something real quick. Are you okay just sitting here for a little bit? Yeah. Oh man. It, <laughs> okay, it okay. reminds me of uh what is it, Team America World Police, the rent making fun of uh was it not rent? Was it rent was it making was rent. fun of rent. it was making fun of rent. Uh it's like we all have AIDS, we're gonna die. <laughs> Yeah, that one. It just that just brought that scene, that whole scene full, full, full. Lease in the movie was called Lease, not Lease. Rent. Lease, got <laughs> so, it, anyway. got it. All yeah, right. Yep. <laughs> <sighs> A gay musical called Gay. That's quite gay. Gay musical. Aren't all musicals gay? 
This must be like the gayest musical ever made. It's got some pretty good reviews. <laughs> the story of a young man trying to find his sexuality in the uncaring Thatcher years. Warning. Includes scenes of graphic homoeroticism. Oh, no. It's set in the 80s. <laughs> graphic homoeroticism. Does that mean they're going to get them out? You're not comfortable with your sexuality? Oh, I'm very comfortable with my sexuality. I just don't want to be slapped in the face with their sexuality. <laughs> oh, look. There's Philip. Oh, look, he's lecturing at that lady. Thank God for that. He's just an ordinary, ignorant man. Oh, hey, you're already here. Yeah. <laughs> what are we doing, Roy? This isn't us. It takes place in the past. Forget the play. Philip knows the cast. It's all about the backstage party afterwards. Those things are great. You just have to go up to everybody, tell them that they were brilliant, and it's free white wine all night. And besides, I really want to meet Laura Knightley. Hey, the guys. Wow. Looks great, doesn't it? Right, we should really pick up a ticket. I know someone who gets the pickle. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I love doing that to him. Hey. <laughs> This is Jerome. He does publicity for the show. He got us our tickets. Oh, great. Thanks. This is Jen and Moss and Roy. Hello, hello. Hello, how's it going? Oh, my God, you're Irish. I love Irish people. They're just mad, aren't they? They're just mad. <laughs> We're all insane, yeah. Well, you'll <laughs> love this. It's Groit Crack. <laughs> I'm mad for crack. <laughs> OK, well, quick, everyone. The <laughs> show's about to start. <laughs> And he's, uh, when he talked about the crack, he wasn't talking about the Irish term for talking shit or taking the piss, as the no. English would say. No. He wasn't talking about crack. Oh, God. I yeah. absolutely love this. And just the way that the, I, I just, I think her suspicion is peaked. Mm -hmm. Now, you can clearly see that. She's just like, huh? <laughs> oh, man. I remember this Bill Burr uh, little um, short or whatever that uh, talked about how if you look at like lesbian women in their 30s and married men around the same age, it's the same look. Yep. But gay dudes like are the happiest you've ever seen. Like, like <laughs> yeah, I, 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 will, of... I will agree with that. <laughs> Oh, I gotta love it. Mm. Oh, I hope Laura Knightley isn't gonna be dressed up like Toy or something. Is she in the bin again? Remember, she plays that heroin addict that gets stabbed in the face. Oh, she is lovely. Isn't she lovely? Oh, God, here we go. It might be all right. Yeah. Not that good. Welcome uh, to the United Queendom! <laughs> Brilliant. United Queendom? He can't say that, can he? Lights up, let's have a look at you. 
Are you wearing that shirt for a bet? All its participation. Go, 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 go. Oh, what have we here? Hello. So, tell me, who wears the trousers in this relationship? What? Oh, my, no, we're not homosexuals. We're just very good friends. So you never had a look? At what? <laughs> His bum! <laughs> I've seen it um, when he crosses in front of my desk or should he bend over to pick something up. I'd love to work in that office. Oh, there's nothing sexual going on. I do like Roy, but I'm not curious. <laughs> Engaging him for. He was asking me questions. I couldn't just ignore him. It'd be rude, Roy. So what do you think of it? I think it's fabulous. Every value I've ever held is being questioned, and I'm loving it. <laughs> you don't like it, do you? The songs are good. No, they're not. Home one of the songs. Willies, willies. I like willies. It's, I love willies. Oh. I love willies. So could you keep it down? I'm not going back in there. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, no, no, no. I'll wait out here for you, but there is no way I'm going anywhere near that thing. Oh, you can't leave me alone in there. I don't know what the hell's going on. He's laughing like an idiot at every single gay reference. Why did you come off for a drink? He doesn't want to miss anything. I need to wee-wee. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Ooh, what's wrong? I've got a toilet coming. Oh, he toilet. Well, let's just get her over with. Disabled? What? Why not? You're not disabled. You'll get in trouble. <laughs> it's more like a parking space, Moss. I think. I think it's okay, isn't it? It's okay. I'm always using the disabled. It's illegal. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> it reminds me of, and this is the perfect thing to put in an episode about, you know, uh, gay stuff. Larry the Cable Guy, and <laughs> he has a joke about using the cripple stool. And, it, and the, his reason for using the cripple stool is it's clean most of the time. So, you know, it's not dirty. It's got plenty of room to stretch out your legs. And even has rails to hold on to for power squeezing. Oh, the stall. It, it threw me off. I was like, the stool? The stool? There's a stool? Like, oh, God, the yes. Cripple stool. Yes. Purple stall. Got it. Got it. I'm there with you. I'm there with you. I always it's it's more spacious. Yeah. More spacious. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not like you're kicking some disabled person out of there. And you when know? you do, you make sure it's just the two of you. Yeah. Exactly. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, people are just, gonna see take yeah. that and run with it. <laughs> yeah. How dare you? Joking, guys. Joking. joking, we're totally joking about it. Just roll them out of the way. No, um, <laughs> no, just <laughs> oh, that's so terrible. Oh, god, oh, anyway, god. I love this episode. This is my favorite one so far. <laughs> it's just awesome. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm just 
disabled. That sounds disoriented. Move back from the door. What? No. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't panic. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? Someone's had an accident. What? what? Well, you better keep going then. <laughs> oh my God! What happened? I fell off the toilet. Well, well, come on, let's let's get let's get you upright. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what happened? I'm disabled. How? How what? How are you disabled? A uh, leg disabled. Oh, wait, 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 I'm being... Do you have a wheelchair? Yes. Where? Yeah. Stolen. How did they get in? I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. Let's get you out of here. Come on. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. is fucking me up. Oh I, my god. I put my face on my fart throne. Oh my god, dude. <sighs> oh god. Oh. I don't know what I would do. I don't know what I would do. <gasps> that's like that's that unlocks a whole new fear I didn't know I might have had. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> There's only like two ways to play it off, both <laughs> of which are completely wrong. So what like, stall is wheelchair? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, my abs hurt, dude. They okay. broke the freaking door down. <laughs> like, not only is he an asshole, he's an asshole because that handicap accessible door is now destroyed. Yeah, and and handicapped people can't use the bathroom now. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh yes. No. Oh yes. All right. Okay, I think I'm all right. Let's oh, go. My God. How can this get worse? Oh, <laughs> Down the toilet. Easy now, easy now. Right. Nice and steady. Don't know any time. Easy! Gently. You know what? All right, bring him careful. Careful. Excuse me, you know this is a staff toilet? Yes. I'm staff. I really am feeling much better. You can all go now. We're not going anywhere until we've got you sorted out. <laughs> oh, it's Paul with the wheelchair. All right. What? I keep one in the office oh. for emergencies. Let's get you up nice and gently. That's oh. it. That's it. There we go. Okay. Oh. Exactly. Oh. There we are. There. <laughs> oh, the police! No worries. Everything all right, here? I'm disabled. Just. I'm disabled. <laughs> like, oh man, he's. Not making like, himself any favors. Yeah, he's digging himself a deeper and deeper hole. Yep. You, you just got to own it now. You are now disabled. Yeah. For the entirety yeah. of the night. Yes. <sighs> so, someone stole your... My wheelchair. I, I'm disabled. Some lazy bastard just waltzed in there. Can you describe it? It's all over so quickly. Well, just tell us what you can. Caucasian male, um, bearded, red hair, glasses, possibly disguise. I, 
<laughs> All right, thank you. Do you need any help getting home? No, I'm, I'm fine. I'm with people. Here they are now. <laughs> no. Oh, fellas. Oh, no, I'll take it from here. Nonsense, it's Lisa. Okay. okay. You slacking off in there? Go and get changed. Excuse me, sir. Can I have a word? The grit of it. <laughs> Five stars. <laughs> so what did you think? Of the musical. Did you not just love it? Well, no. Sorry. Why not? I don't know, it's just... Maybe you have to be gay. <laughs> but I loved it. Yeah, I guess it's more of a gay thing. You know, you have to be gay. <laughs> a gay man. <laughs> a homosexual. Well, all I know is I loved every last second of it. And I'm not usually a fan of musicals. Hey, uh, do you want to meet the cast? Come on. Uh, the thing is, I have to meet Moss and Roy. Titanic. Hey, listen, I told the cast about what happened and they told me to get you all to come back and meet them. Yay! Come on, everybody. Off the bed. So my Titanic analogy is perfect. Oh, this shit. thing is going to crash big into an iceberg. Oh, my God. I absolutely love this. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's just like, how could that? <laughs> You'll never use a disabled toilet again. Ever. No, no. Especially not in the UK no. or any metropolitan city. That. <laughs> I mean, God. what? Okay, look. What is your move? You're what? right now. You're being lowered in the wheelchair. What is your move? I just be sure I don't get in this situation in the first place. No, but I mean, if you had to, if you had okay. to, if you had to be, you are right now, you, Spencer, are being lowered in a wheelchair that you don't belong in. And you're about yeah. to meet the cast of a play in front of a lot of people, and especially people that you know, co workers. Well, it depends. Depends on how religious the uh, uh, area I am is. I could be like, I've seen the light and I'll run and just run into the night. Well, I mean, I feel like that right there is the only response to this. <laughs> but not, not, I mean, you don't, I don't think you, you don't, you wouldn't even have to say all of that. You would just get up and run and you would be fine. Yeah. The police aren't there, and you're running into the night. Yeah. Like, that's uh, that's I, your out. I would turn into Forrest Gump and mm -hmm. just start running. I just kept on running. I'm pretty tired now. I think I'll yep. go home. Oh, my you God. know, that's the only way out of this. Yep. Pretty now, much. what about you? What about you? I would run. I would run. I would just jump okay. off that thing and run as fast as I could. And, and stay face that way N and never, ever, ever go to a play again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I mean, for him, it seems like it's an easy thing to do. Never yep. see a play again in that city. So sounds, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, I love how one got disabled. The other one's getting a job. <laughs> I, I was about to say, it's like <laughs> going into Target wearing a red shirt. People think you work there yep. now. <laughs> yep. Yep. Pretty much. Yep. Hey, James! Oh, wow, Edgar. Hi. Oh, brilliant. Jeremy! How do you know all these young, good-looking men? Oh, you know, just from around. Hey, Jerome! 
Come here, you great show. Hello, darling. Listen, I can't talk at the moment. I've got a disabled group coming in for a chat. Here they are now. <laughs> oh. He's had quite an evening. Someone stole his wheelchair. Really? Did you see who it was? Red bearded man. Uh huh. How long have you been disabled? Ten years. Ten years. And how did it happen, if that's not a rude question? Acid. What are the chances of that happening? A uh, hundred to one. You look like you could do with a drink. Whiskey, please double. Excuse me. Yes, miss. <laughs> Double whiskey, please. Double whiskey. And a glass of white wine. Glass of white wine. Thank you. You're very welcome, madam. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Lord Knightley. How are you? I'm disabled. It must be so difficult being gay and disabled. Very difficult. <laughs> Come here, my little soldier. Oh my God. What's the matter? I don't know. <laughs> You're from Telly. I am. And you know, the little birdie told me that you couldn't make the show tonight. So I've got you two tickets for tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> so well. Yeah. High five. High five. <laughs> Laura, a couple of photos. Is he from the newspaper? Yes, he's from the standard. Oh, good. <laughs> what? What's... Oh, I, I get it. Very funny, you Irish. Oh, I'm a bit tired. Can I have a wheelchair too? <laughs> Hilarious. piece of cinema so far for me in this whole journey that was there that whole little this whole bit this whole bit has been oh dude i love that holy shit <laughs> oh no oh my God. <laughs> Not only, oh, dude, not only you have to fake being disabled. Oh, you get like the person that coordinated the whole thing. Pretty much, I'm essentially going out on a limb and saying canceled forever for not yeah. only throwing stereotypes out, but assaulting a handicapped person. <laughs> oh, God. What a night out. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh. Oh. Well, uh, I guess this is good night. Yeah. So weird. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, are you gay? Are you a gay man? No. Are you? No. no, brilliant, good. That's because that's all I wanted to know. I don't mind. One way or another, you know, it's just I, I like being clear. I don't want any ambiguity. What on earth made you think I was gay? <laughs> well, oh, you know, I didn't just pull it out of the air. You know, you just brought me to a gay musical called Gay. You've been laughing like mad every 
gay reference, your friends, all of whom are gay, say hello by tickling you. Jen, what century are you living in? Do you think that a man has to be gay to like a gay musical? Can a straight man not have homosexual friends? And since when was tickling gay? I missed that meeting, Jen. Jen, come here. Oh, I'm sorry, I guess you just threw me when you borrowed that copy of Heat. Oh, God, it's true, it's true. I'm gay. I'm a gay man. I tried to run from it to the night, but I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh, Jen, what am I going to do? I thought I could make it work between us because you looked a bit like a man. Oh. Oh. No, she doesn't. Oh. Oh. Taxi! Hello there. I didn't see you on the way out. Right, lads. Let's get a sing-song going. It's a long way back to Manchester. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That was Jay's dad from yep. In Betweeners. Yep. 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 Recognized him. Had yep. to get that in. Had to. Had to. Like, Wait a minute. Uh, I love it. I love it. And this... <laughs> Oh, it's man. a long ride to Manchester. I don't know how where they are, but I, I'm just assuming London because I don't know. But um, man, <laughs> it's a long way to Manchester. Yeah, you uh, you got it. You got to run. You got to run. Yeah, got to run. I, but that is the outcome of the playing the other part of that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, it, it, you have to go all in, I guess. Yep, yep. Man. Night, Steve. Night, Moss. Night, Melly. You be good. Not if I can help it. <sighs> the theatre. So the most tame part about this whole episode was Moss accidentally getting a job. Yep. That was the most tame part of all this. This is the most family friendly part of it. This is the only part that could make it into today's uh, yeah. uh, shows. Yep. Like, oh man. But <laughs> I needed this. I needed this this today. This that was that I, I, I therapeutically laughed with that one. That yeah, was nice. that was that was a hundred percent therapeutic right there. <laughs> that was awesome. for the both of us, man. This is oh man, the most automatic six thumbs up ever. Yep, yep. that that was <laughs> brilliant writing right there. I love that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man. God. Thanks for commenting, liking, subscribing, and the bell, and sharing with your friends. Definitely. Either way, wash your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose, embrace the suck. Unplug and do something epic, guys. Like, go to the theater. And be honest. Ooh, yes. See Good y'all luck. next time. <laughs> Fellas, we can be that mistake. Let's do this. <laughs>